My name is Simona Zori okay. and I'm from Italy. Oh, lovely, Italy. And how long have you been here in London? Just a few days. I just came for the event. Okay, and yeah. how are you feeling about the event? Is it a great. good one? It's, it's the second one. day, right? It's the second day, mm -hmm. yes, and it's great. Oh, we, lovely. We are promoting the Due, this mm -hmm. brand. It's a mouth and foot association international, so there are wow. almost uh, 100 um, artists from all over the world, from more than mm -hmm. 70 countries, and they all paint with their feet or with their mouth. I paint with my feet. Amazing. So, Amazing. yeah, the, so they want to... We want to try to go on fashion with uh, uh, with our um, paintings. Mm. So they are reproductions on uh, our paintings, original paintings mm -hmm. on clothing. Wow. And it's our um, publisher from India that okay. is promoting uh, uh, this. Oh, that's nice. So I, I believe very much in this uh, project it's because it's unique. It's unique. It's yeah. certainly a very unique so project. I this, uh, uh, talks about the story of, uh, of an artist. Oh, I would love so, to know the story yeah, of an artist. So behind every clothes yeah. there is a story, there is a, a story of uh, hope, of uh, changing like your perspective of life or when everything seems impossible, you can, it can be, become possible. Yeah, that's so, very inspirational. Yeah, I think it's a great message for mm. also the fashion world, you know, just uh, wearing a piece of art actually. What was the idea when you started doing this for the first time? Was it difficult? Was it challenging? Or Well, it is challenging because it's something yes. so new. Yes. We, we like challenges. Oh, you know, gosh. all the artists from all over the world, uh, they actually are embracing challenges because Lovely, yeah. some of them, like I was born without arms, but mm -hmm. some of them maybe had an accident. Mm. So they started their, their life from the beginning oh, so like yes. they they decided to it's even difficult when you have something yeah. and then you lose something so yeah. yeah so you have to you know try to do your best and so they want to become artists and they start from painting with their feet or with their mouth okay. and the idea is that people know about this that, that art can be done in different ways and so we we want to try and send this matches message also in uh, fashion world. So Due is the name of the, the brand. The brand and, yes, mm -hmm. it means uh, talented in uh, in French. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Due. And, uh, yeah. You are certainly Due. So you, you can also get also the... Okay. So you can know. You can yep. know. Sure. Yeah. All the details. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, so this is a painting. Ah. Oh, One of my so painting, beautiful. so they put it on uh, on clothing, mm. and each each one is, uh, wow, is from is a amazing. painting. And how how long do you take to finish one painting? Well, it depends. Something? It depends, uh, really? but it takes a while. For this one, it took a long time because of all the details of yes, the hands. Yes, this is really detailed. And feet. Uh, yeah. So each painting is unique and uh, tells the story also of the artist. For example, this is Tommy Angel, he's an mm -hmm. artist from uh, here from, uh, from England. Uh -huh. He paints with his feet and with his mouth, both wow. of it. Because if you go in other clothes, mm. you know, they're printed from... But this yeah. is printed from... This has from, a different vibe yeah, altogether, so yes. From an Absolutely. original painted, painted by somebody who by uses somebody. their feet yeah, and mouth. So there are a lot of uh, layers of mm. meaning. That's true. Okay, so one message do I can give to others? Well, the message is that uh, um, everything is possible and you can, uh, um, through art, express yourself and your mm -hmm. abilities. Amazing. And uh, the message that we want to um, send this message to as many people as possible, also not just by our paintings, but also in the, the way clothes, we dress, yes, in the absolutely. clothes, so it become a, a way of life, a way absolutely. of being. Mm -hmm. Amazing, thank you very thank much. You. It was a pleasure having you. It was a pleasure. Yes. Thank you. Me too, thank you. Hello, my name is Samriddhi Singh. I am from International Business Time UK. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Jimmy. And I'm Karina. Nice to meet you. Hey. 
So I would I would like to know about your product Pure Yellow. Uh, my father started the business uh, about uh, 23 years ago. Okay. Uh, we started off with different materials, but then we kind of switched to the handmade and uh, you know materials that are natural. What comes from the earth goes go back. So we started to adjust to the eco-friendly you know uh, mindset. mindset. Actually, it has helped us a lot because because uh, you know through the times the designs the colors and all of this stuff is uh, timeless you know and it's also each piece is unique you know you buy something that has its own history it's uh, quite unique to, to see that and uh, not many people interpret this in general we've started to participate in exhibitions in Greece firstly uh, then started to expand we tried uh, exporting to new countries then came the opportunity for uh, an exhibition in uh, France. And from then it uh, kind of went its own way. It uh, started going along, you know. Then came a visitation, uh, oh no, uh, an invitation. An invitation. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> an invitation from, uh, you know, for Pure London. Yes, and uh, actually this is the first time for the company to come in England. And it's like uh, Pure London is the first exhibition for this, like, uh, a you know, everybody's getting now the first taste of the company, so it was really important for us to go well. How you are finding that, uh, like you are doing the eco-friendly things, yes. so how you are finding the dif making the difference? Um, actually, it started with a trip, uh, you know, in uh, countries uh, that are difficult to communicate, you know, so that are far, you know, from uh, factories and you have to go to the source, the villages and stuff. We went to Vietnam, we went to Africa, we went to Indonesia and uh, started, you know, communicating with people not as much for business, but you get to know a different culture and uh, you see the differences, you see, you meet people, you you earn experiences, you know, you, you grow as a person first and then you, everything comes with it then. So, uh, my father was in a trip, he was uh, just enjoying the scenery, you know, people passing by carrying uh, these bags. And he was like, what is this made of? It's extremely unique from what we see in Europe and the West, uh, you know, countries. He became curious about it. So he said, uh, let's uh, see how they made them. Uh, started, you know, coming along with the idea. And, uh, you know, brought uh, one, two pieces for samples. And people started to like them because they see something different than uh, what they've been used to. And, As uh, you told me that this is the first event in London, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. how you are finding after that event? What What's your expectation after that doing that event? Uh, it's it's going pretty well, especially comparing to to what we expected. Yeah, and uh, and uh, the good thing is that the people that pass by here so interest in our brand. So that's a good thing. Like comparing the people that are here and the interest they show, it's like really good rate for us. They They're tell interested us, in like knowing. Yeah, they, they, they ask not about uh, just the product, they ask about how it's, it's being made. Because Where from like yeah. materials, uh, the colors, the different like possibilities of uh, playing with colors and other stuff. Which shows true interest, you know. If someone shows interest in something, it's uh, more uh, chances, you know, to be so the customer will be satisfied. Okay. Because uh, someone digs into it and sees uh, its flaws and its uh, pros. So you tend to realize what you're already buying, you know, what you're trying to sell. So in your product, whatever you are making, the clothes, the bags, the hat, so you are customizing it for the customers also or just your designs? Uh, we do bring uh, the, most of the designs. We have uh, some uh, individual uh, uh, requests, let's say. But we surely do custom designs yeah. also, like uh, depending yeah. on the, the request to the customers. We do get requests, but you know, they stay for a certain, uh, a certain target group. Thank you. I enjoyed listening everything. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much. It was nice meeting you.